So, what's up everyone, Lord Ryujin here doing another YouTube video now. Um, the room is a little bit of a mess, um, but hopefully you can't really see it too much. Um, but just wanted to do a real quick video discussing New Game, New Game Plus more specifically. Is this something that you guys play? Because I, as a gamer, rarely play New Game Plus unless there's some motivation to do so, such as an achievement uh, that I might have missed. <coughs> Otherwise, typically I look at it as it's the same game, same story, same enemies, nothing is different. So why should I play it again? So typically, I don't do New Game Plus unless it's a game that I really enjoy. Uh, perfect example, Legend of Zelda. I really enjoy the Legend of Zelda series. I have never done a new game. I've never done Hero Mode uh, for any of them. So because the fact is, what does Hero Mode do? I mean, in the first Zelda, it rearranges the dungeons, but... That's it. It's the same dungeons, the same items, the same final boss, the same bosses, actually, uh, and the same items. It's just that they've moved around. Same thing um, with Skyward Sword and all these other uh, newer Zelda's that included Hero Mode from the beginning, or at least after you've beaten it, where really it's just the same game, the same story, it's just harder. The enemies hit you more. Which, if you're mostly defensive, you use your shield. It's not really that big of a deal. I mean, and then in, in a game like uh, Link Between Worlds, you can go and get all the heart pieces. Once you're able to reach all the items, just go get all the heart pieces you can find. Get yourself a long enough life to where that doesn't even affect you. So. I don't know, it just seems like New Game Plus, to me, is kind of a pointless thing. And unless it's something like, I don't know, Dead Space, I think, had an achievement for, like, top, uh, for, like, tier 3 engineer or something like that, so you had to beat the game at least on its hardest setting to unlock, like, whatever it was, tier 3 engineer, I think it is what it was called. And because of that, you got the achievement, so I had to play the game at least twice. Um, same thing I think with Dead Space 2 because of there's that, um, hardcore or whatever achievement where you have to beat it, um, to unlock it, something like that. Um, those are the only instances that I can think of why I would do a new game or a new game plus, you, you know? It's just, it, it's very rarely any motivation beyond, hey, you really like the game it again with all of your stuff from the last game. Which sometimes can be cool. But I mean with some games like Dark Souls, which already like to take the opportunity to whoop my ass and to toss me around like I'm its bitch. I don't know if I really want to go through that again. Maybe I'm not playing Dark Souls right. Maybe I'm not taking the opportunity because I mean I haven't played it in months, honestly. I got to a point where I was like this boss is de destroying me. And uh, I don't feel like doing anything else. I don't know what else to do. So I really need to sit down with a guide to kind of teach me maybe I'm doing this wrong. Because that's what Elder Scrolls was when I first played Elder Scrolls. I didn't like it because I was doing it wrong. It wasn't until I played it again and actually like tried to learn the magic and tried to learn everything within that opening area before I left and got into the exploring part that I was really like appreciative of like, oh, I see what it's doing. But Oblivion doesn't offer me a new game plus. You know, it's just like, hey, go back and do the other missions. You know, it's, it's, it's open world. It offers me DLC and stuff, but it, it, it doesn't offer me, it doesn't offer me, um, you know, a new game plus. So I just wonder if it's really worth it, you know, especially in a game where, again, like Dark Souls or something, it's already pretty tough to beat it as it is. And then you go through and it's like, hey, do it again. Why not? And, you know, it's understandable, especially because that game has trophies or achievements attached to it, depending on what system you play it on. 
So I guess if you want to go through and get those trophies and get those achievements, it's understandable why you, you would want to do New Game Plus. But um, I'm the kind of person I like to try to get them all in one playthrough. So if if it means I take a little bit longer because I'm running back and forth and doing stuff just to meet certain conditions, so be it. My understanding is that you can't do that with Dark Souls because Dark Souls, I think, has limitations or something to where you cannot... I don't know. I don't remember. Point is, I don't really think New Game Plus is really that necessary. Because to me, New Game is essentially the same thing as starting over again or using a cheat code, like back in the day where you know, you have like a game shark or, you know, a game genie that you could pop in and you put in a code and so it instantly gave you like infinite items or something or, you know, like infinite P-Wings in Mario 3 or something. That's kind of like the same thing as New Game Plus. Hey, play the game again from the beginning with all the items that you already earned. Oh. I don't know, I guess that's just me because I'm always cool like that. What do you guys think of New Game Plus? Do you think it's something that is really cool? Because in a way, I can kind of see it. Going back and doing God of War 3 with the New Game Plus option was really neat. Because then I could just focus more on getting the Phoenix Wings and the Minotaur Eyes or, or Cyclops Eyes, whatever they were, that I had missed. You know, it was really a good opportunity. But I played careful enough to where I really only missed one thing. And it was at the very beginning of the game, because I didn't know it was there. <clears throat> Otherwise, I got everything in God of War 3, the first time that I played it through. So I'm typically a careful gamer like that, to try to get everything in one run. So I don't need to go back and do hero mode in a Zelda game. I don't need to go through and do the second quest, or anything like that. Unless it's a game like Eight Eyes back there, where in order to see the best ending of the game, or the true ending of the game, you have to beat it at least three times. That's all I'm saying. Um, or even like Cave Story. Cave Story, I think you have to beat it. Because there's a bad ending, a good ending, and then it's like the best ending. And you have to go through hell, literally, to get to the best ending. Um, that's a good example of a game that I would play at least two or three or four times to try and get that best ending. But again, that's in the programming of the game itself, and you don't even have to do it, because you can just simply save your game before, see the ending, cut it off, start back from where you left off, and continue. You don't have to start over again from the very beginning. Oh, goodness. So that's my video for now. Um, thanks for watching, and um, again, leave your two cents, and uh, I'll probably more likely start linking my Twitter account to Facebook, uh, to uh, YouTube. Because I'm going to start really trying to do Twitter more heavy. Uh, I do have a Twitter account. So I've been kind of sitting around not doing anything. And I kind of was like, you know what? Maybe maybe I should use it. Um, so be sure to uh, follow me on there if you're not already. Um, if you want to, I'll, I'll do my best to try and put gaming-related news and updates about my videos and um, all my recent finds on there and stuff like that. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and I will, as always, see you next time.